What's up, everyone? We have a filing to talk about out of the MIAX Pearl Exchange. It's SR Pearl 2021-35, and it relates to order priorities and regulation show. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this was filed originally on November 2nd. It is scheduled to be published in the Fed Register on Monday, the 8th of November. And this is SR Pearl, again, 2021-35, a notice of filing of amendment number one and order granting accelerated approval of a proposed change as modified by amendment number one to amend exchange rule 2616, which is priority of orders. So on July 20th, 2021, MIX Pearl filed with the SEC a proposed rule change to amend the exchange rule 2616, priority of orders, to provide that an order receive a new timestamp when its position is modified via a cancel or replace message during a short sale period. The proposed rule change was published for comment in the Fed Register on August 6, 2021. On September 16, 2021, they designated a longer period within which to approve or disapprove the proposed rule change or institute proceedings. On the 28th, the exchange filed amendment number one to the commission and did not receive any comments on that. This order here provides notice of the filing of amendment number one to the proposed rule change and grants approval to the proposed rule change as modified by amendment number one on an accelerated basis. So the description of the proposed rule change as modified by amendment number one. Rule 2616, paragraph A, subparagraph five, currently provides that in the event an order has been canceled or replaced in accordance with rule 2614E, such order only retains its timestamp if such modification involves a decrease in the size of the order a change to the max floor of an order with a reserve quantity or a change in position from number one, sell to sell short, number two, sell to sell short exempt, sell short to sell, sell short to sell short exempt, sell short exempt to sell, and lastly, sell short exempt to sell short. I didn't know there's so many different ways to put short in a sentence, but there you have it. Now, under the current rule, any other modification to an order, including an increase in the size of the order and or the price change, that will result in such order losing time priority as compared to other orders in the MIAX Pearl Equities book, and the timestamp for such order being revised to reflect the time of the modification. Woo. So the exchange has proposed to amend this rule such that an order resting on the MIX Pearl Equities trading platform that is modified via a cancel or replace message in accordance with Rule 2614E to change its position in one of the one of the ways enumerated in Rule 2616A5 would retain its timestamp only if the position change occurs when a short sale period is not in effect and there is no additional modification to the order that would trigger a new timestamp, such as an increase in size or price change. As a result, unlike under the current rule, under proposed rule 2616A5, an order that is modified via a cancel or replace message in accordance with rule 2614E to change its position as enumerated in rule 2616A5 would receive a new timestamp when the position change occurs during a short sale period, even if, for example, the order's price remains unchanged. Such modification to an order during a short sale period would result in the order losing time priority compared to other orders in the MIAX Pearl Equities book, and the timestamp for such order being revised to reflect the time of the modification. Now, the exchange states the proposed rule change stems from changes to the underlying technology for, it, for its repricing processes for the displayed and non-displayed portions of an order with a reserve quantity, which in turn impacted how its system determines whether a short sale order must be repriced to comply with regulation show. The exchange further states that due to these uh, technology changes and the interaction and technological complexity of its system's order repricing processes, this proposal would entail adjusting the exchange's repricing process to reevaluate an order for execution when the order's position is modified via a cancel or replace message during a short sale period and there is no corresponding change to the order's price. This, according to the exchange, would result in the order receiving a new timestamp, including where the order price remains unchanged. Now, according to the exchange, it has proposed this rule change in an abundance of caution to reinforce the reliability, resiliency, and continued operation of its system and underlying technology. Well, isn't that great? 
In addition, the exchange states that the proposed rule change is, de is designed to address a discrete and potentially limited scenario and states, by way of example, that between July 1st, 2021 and September 7th, 2021, there were no position modifications via a cancel or replace message that would have resulted in a new timestamp and loss in priority based on the proposed functionality had it been in effect. Further, the exchange states that a change in an order's price or position as well as an increase in an order size via a cancel or replace message implicitly result in a new order and all exchange equity members therefore must ensure continued compliance with the order marking and locate requirements of regulation show, including compliance with question 2.6 of the commission's responses to frequently asked questions concerning regulation show. In essence, this is going to help the locate issue that's found in the market. Now, this is just out of MIAX. There's several other exchanges, but it's basically, in a nutshell, going to enhance each equity member's obligations to comply with regulation show, which does benefit all investors. So, accelerated approval. We should get some form of a notice when it will be implemented. I will let you know when that comes out. Have a good one.